Analog digital converters or ADCs are mostly used for connecting digital devices and systems with external analog signals with the real world. In this case, the ADC converts analog signal into digital input signals, which is applied to digital devices for further processing or storage. In general, the ADC chip can be represented as a block with an analog input, one or two inputs to supply the reference or model voltage, and a digital output for supply of the code corresponding to the current value of the analog signal. In general, the ADC chip is more complex than the attack chip. The former has a wide range, therefore it's more difficult to formulate general principle for their use. Reference voltage of the ADC sets input voltage range for conversion. It may be permanent or allow change within certain limits. Sometimes two reference voltages with different signs are provided to be fed to the ADC, then the ADC can operate with both positive and negative input voltages. The digital output code uniquely corresponds to the input voltage. The code may take values in the amount of 2 raised to the power of n, that is the ADC can distinguish levels of input voltage in the amount of 2 raised to the power of n. The n number of bits of the output code is the most important characteristic of the ADC. When the output code is ready, the end of conversion signal, RDY, is produced. An external device can use the signal to read the end code. Operation of the ADC is managed by CLK clock signal, which sets the conversion frequency. That is, the issuing frequency of output codes. The marginal clock speed is the second most important parameter of the ADC. Some chips have a built-in clock generator. So a crystal oscillator or a capacitor that sets conversion frequency is connected to the output. See a signal enables the chip. There is a wide range of ADC chips available with different performance rate. Acceptable ranges of the input signal, values of arrows, levels of supply voltage, methods of delivery of the output code. Chips with a large number of bits usually have low performance, and the most high-speed devices have a small number of bits. The scope of any ADC chip is largely determined by the conversion principle used in it. So you need to know about these principles. To select and use an ADC, one needs detailed reference data from the manufacturer. As a basic element of any ADC, a voltage comparator is used. It compares two analog input voltages and, depending on the comparison result, issues an output digital signal, either zero or one. The comparator works with a wide input voltage range and it also works with a high speed. Therefore, it can be used by all different users.